everybody, welcome back to another video, another week. Today, we're getting started on the walls. Of all the wood in the truck, we need to carry it back, and then we're gonna start framing this thing up. Found it. Now that I have this little one inch gap filled in um, with just some leftover scraps, it's actually pine from the indoor walls. Next step though, start framing the walls. These uh, uh, two side walls and that back wall are just uh, straight framing. I'm only doing 24 inch on center. So this front wall is actually gonna have a door obviously in it and uh, I'm gonna switch up the framing but still just do 24 inch on center. If we decide that we wanna cut out and just put in a window, we can do it and it won't need like rebuilding or a header or anything because it'll just be uh, to fit, it'll be a 20 inch window so it'll fit in that 24 inch gap. It'll build it out um, pretty easily. All right, let's get to it, let's get building again.
and that's three. Obviously this wall needs to be secured. Definitely after a workshop and then the cabin, um, I'm definitely feeling a little more confident with my framing skills. All right, we'll secure this thing up and we'll get that front wall done. All right, everybody, we have those top plates completely nailed in. I didn't film every nail just because that's a little monotonous. So it's time to start figuring out the roof. And what I'm gonna do for the roof is just a ridge beam with rafters connected to it. And this is my first time ever doing this. Um, obviously that first rafter, you need to get the angles and the bird's mouth perfect to where exactly you need it. And then after that, um, you can use that as a template and every rafter should be the same. Time to start figuring that out. This is a shakedown Order up that beat just like a takeout Show me you got soul inside those new shoes And you can rock and roll with the attitude So good, so fresh, just the way you like it All right, so we have the back one on. It's time for the ridge beam, except um, me being new to this type of framing, etc. cetera, um, the stud doesn't fall perfectly in the center here. So, and I thought of that before I put this up. So I purchased a second stud. So I'm actually just gonna double this middle stud up just for the ridge beam being in the center. I just wanna make sure it's fully supported. And then I need to outfit the front because it falls like directly beside the stud and over the header so what i'm gonna do is essentially build out um or maybe even well probably just two but build out a cripple stud um to go underneath so that it that it has some extra support where needed you got the remix keep it on 
Got that second stud in. I have no idea if what I just did was conventional or normal. Best practice. I don't really care right now. That's the glory of building out here in the woods. I understand that there's times where you really want to follow code or you want to follow um, general practice, but this is going to be fine. I just wanted to add in an extra support. It's not like that stud's just going to fall out or anything like that. So it's extra support. So you can see right up above my head here, um, there's the other support for the, the ridge beam. Right about where you see my hand right now, I need to add in one, two, maybe three cripple studs, build that out. And right here, I need to build in a little extra support to my header. So let's get that done and then we'll be set to set the beam. All right, well, it passes the strength test. Um, we have the ridge beam set. Uh, it's kind of awesome to have that thing up there and uh, not secured or anything, and we still need to do rafters. But that's where we're gonna end this video this week. Make sure you hit the like, make sure you subscribe, follow along, next week we'll keep going. So thanks for following, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.